It's a holiday. It's Memorial Day. I'm not grilling out. I'm probably going to have leftovers. But I did want to have something special because it's a holiday. And so I got out my trusty companion, my Cook's Illustrated cookbook. You never go wrong when you use Cook's Illustrated. And I wanted something quick and easy but delicious. And I found it. It is hot fudge pudding cake. It I've not made it before, but I've read the directions and it just pulls together very fast and I hope it's going to be delicious. You've got all these little bowls put together. It's like a, an assembly line. I have my chocolate. It called specifically for Dutch chocolate. Cook's Illustrated is always specific about their ingredients. Dutch chocolate. Pulgra butter, which I'm already sold on pulgra butter, and uh, sugar, brown sugar, and some additional chopped up bittersweet chocolate chips. This is so rich and decadent. So I've got that, and it has cooled. Then I've got more Dutch chocolate and some uh, brown sugar and some white sugar, and this is just a little crumbly mixture, and... It's going to go on the finished product after I get my batter pulled together. In my bowl, I have got my milk, my whole milk, and I've got sugar and salt and vanilla. I am fixing to whisk in one egg yolk. One egg yolk. I don't want to leave any behind. What are you doing for Memorial Day? My husband's working. The pandemic is lifting. Life seems to be going back into our routines. But still, I'm in the kitchen. Okay, you whisk that with your egg yolk. Next, you're going to add this decadent chocolate. Oh, my goodness. It needs to be cooled, because if it were not, I'd be making scrambled eggs right now. But I am going to stir it, just to make sure that if there is any warmth whatsoever, I'm not letting it sit. Mmm, this chocolate. Now, this recipe, I guess maybe don't plan on going to bed early tonight. You've got all this chocolate, the Dutch chocolate. You have got the semi-sweet chocolate chips. And it also calls for coffee. It helps to counter some of the sweetness. We'll see. All right. Got my chocolate. Stirring that in. The next thing we're going to add is our little bowl with our flour and our baking powder. This is looking great. Okay, after you put the flour, you whisk relatively gently. All right, after I get this stirred up and put it in the pan, then the magic begins. Okay, I'll be right back. I've got my batter mixed up. It's a very, very thick batter. This was so easy to mix up. I just hope it's good. If it's good, it's gonna be a go-to because it was so easy. Get a little Tillamook ice cream. Serve it with this hot fudge cake, and it will be a winner. Okay, I'm going to work to spread this out, which is going to take just a little bit of work to get it all the way to the edges. And then we'll be back to put our toppings on. All right, I've got it pulled to the edges. It's going nowhere. It's very, very thick. All right, on top of that, we have our Dutch chocolate, our brown sugar, and our white sugar. 
and we're going to sprinkle this on top. The oven is set at 325. The recipe said it's to be low and slow, and that's what I have it at. Then after I sprinkle all of this evenly over this batter, I'm gonna pour this coffee mixture on top of it. This is gonna be so delicious. Wish I was having company tonight. Me Carl and the dog. You know, I'm just gonna dump that because this uh, batter's going nowhere. I think I can do it this way. Oh yeah. Do you see how good that looks? Very even. Now the recipe says that you can warm it up with plastic wrap over it in the microwave and it will reactivate the um, liquid or, or heat it so that it is like hot fudge sauce. Now here's what I'm a little bit afraid of. It said pour it slowly. Okay, I'm pouring. It doesn't seem to be penetrating. It's just kind of sitting on top, but I'm not gonna stir it. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. It's just floating. If I were to drop this in my kitchen, on my floor, on my rug, that would not be good. Only Rudy would be happy about that. Low and slow, 45 minutes, and then there will be hot fudge cake, and we'll get out the vanilla till nook, and we'll have a party. Okay, you can see that it did make chocolate, and I wound up having company to come and eat for Memorial Day. Are you filming me filming you? Okay, it's time for the big test. Is Raleigh going first? Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. Very good. Is it good? Very good. What do you think, Raleigh? Mm. Yes, thank you, or no thank you, buddy. No, no. Whatever. Oh. You're being good. I'm gonna get killed. No. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Here's here's my baby boy. It's all gritty. <gasps> what does that like, mean? Do you is think it, it tastes gritty? Gritty? Don't get the ice cream with it. Well, oh, it did have that, like flour, it. that sugar and chocolate that was a topping. I like the gritty. Very chocolatey. It's very good. What do you think? Yeah, it's great. I gotta say, yeah, it's gritty. No, I'm just trying to figure out what the gritty. You do you taste? Do it? you taste gritty too? And it, it's not gritty. It's a good word. It's I mean, crunch. Uh, it's got like some sort crunch. of crunch to it. Crunch. That's an attractive. That's what I said. Right. No, gritty is like. Did you mix up a plastic spoon in this or something? <laughs> like, yeah. No. <laughs> Matthew, no. It's bad got like review. a crunch to it. Yes. Very good. Yes, it did have. A little layer. Carl, we're going to have to get rid of these. <laughs> it's very good. I believe good. it's going to be back to me and you yeah. again yeah. on the taste testing. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Well, there it is. Delicious. Memorial Day no, treat. I but, love ch the chocolate. Okay. I'm, I mean, I'm a chocolate. Okay. It looks like yes. Yes, thank you. Oh. Are you back in? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Not to lie. Whoa. Ooh, that, was a <laughs> that was a big bite. And Rudy says, Any for me? Even the dogs get the crumbs off the table. Maybe not He's over here. Yummy. That was a good bite. Well, happy Memorial Day. It's delicious. Thank you.